Hello and welcome everybody to this bigger plate tutorial where we're going to help you to get started with Mind Manager. In this video, we're going to be looking at navigating your Mind Manager mind maps quickly, effectively, and easily. So let's jump right in. One of the most important features in mind mapping software is the ability to show and hide topics. This is what makes it such a powerful way to manage and organize information. You can hide the information you don't need right now and just focus in on what you do need to use. So in Mind Manager, to show and hide topics or branches, we can do a couple of things. We can click the little plus icon that you can see here, or we can use the Control D uh, shortcut to do the same thing. So we just click on that Control plus the D key on our keyboard, and we open and close. Now, a quick tip while we're talking about opening and closing topics. It's possible that when your mind map is fully expanded, it's going to be quite big. And so a really useful little feature in Mind Manager that just collapses everything down is to uh, use the right click menu and then hit collapse map. Again, a control plus F3 keyboard shortcut is always there. Just to illustrate what I mean by that, if we expand this mind map into its uh, full uh, expansion, you'll see it's really very big and that's not a very useful view. So maybe over working in the mind map, it started to expand and we've opened quite a few things. Rather than individually closing each of these branches, we can just say to Mind Manager, can you please just collapse everything down and we'll go right back to that initial level. So a nice little tip there so around showing and hiding topics and collapsing the mind map when you just want to reduce everything down to those main headings. Next, we've got to think about moving around the mind map. And you'll see how I move around the mind map even as I'm running this tutorial. But there's a few things to just be uh, kind of using in this uh, regard. So the first is the scroll bars. These are going to help you to move up and down or from side to side in your mind map. So you can see these just on the side of the screen here. I can move up and down. Or if I come to this one at the bottom, I can move side to side. Now, you can also, if you're using a laptop, you can use your trackpad to move side to side, up to down, just by using whatever motion on your trackpad is set up, just like you would on a, a Word document or a Google, uh, uh, Excel spreadsheet, just for moving up and down, left to right. However, I find the scroll bars are actually, uh, they can be a little bit uh, inaccurate and sometimes I can't, to have to do two movements to get where I want is a little bit uh, more work than I want. So actually where I really recommend you use is what I call a map grab. I'm sure there's a more technical name for it, uh, but this is just enables you to move more accurately in my view around the mind map. So to do this, you just right click with your mouse on any sort of white space on the screen, any blank space, and you'll notice that the cursor turns into this little hand, and then I can just hold that right mouse uh, button down and, and pull the canvas around. This enables me to be much more accurate. So instead of having to use, if I wanted to go down to this topic down here, instead of using the scroll bars where I have to go down and then across, Using the map grab, I just grab the screen and pull it around much more accurately and I can be much more specific with what I want to move towards in the mind map. So I'd really recommend using the map grab probably more than the scroll bars. Finally, in terms of zooming, another hugely beneficial part of mind mapping software is the ability to see the big picture and the small details by using simple zooming mechanisms within the software. So in my manager, we've got lots of options here. I'm going to start with what I think is the worst option for zooming, which is up here in the main menu. So you can go up into the main menu, come along here and say view, and then you come all the way along here and you see zoom and you can say zoom in. That was a long way to go to just zoom in one touch. So it's a very slow approach. So it's probably not what you're going to be using day to day in my manager. So a slightly quicker approach is to use the zoom slider, which you can see down at the bottom right of your software here, and you can just zoom that along in or out. Now, as I say here, I think this is a little bit too extreme. I tend to find myself zooming either in too far or out too far. Uh, it's very, very sensitive zooming. So again, doesn't quite work for me on a day to day. And I don't like having to go down with my mouse down here all the time. So once again, I'd recommend you get familiar with some of the shortcuts. The easiest and quickest way to zoom in and out on your mind maps, in my opinion, is to use either the control and plus and minus keys. And you'll notice that just steps me in and out really uh, incrementally and gradually. It's not too extreme. It's not too fast. It's not too sensitive. Or the alternative, which is what I use today, I've got a, a separate mouse or you can do the same with your trackpad on your laptop is just hold down the control key and zoom out or zoom in just by using the mouse wheel or your trackpad. So it's really this uh, option that I'd be recommending in terms of zooming in and out of your mind maps quickly and easily, which is really the powerful aspect when you're building and working in the mind maps. 
A final little tip again around zooming and just generally navigating your mind maps is a very useful feature to be aware of is this fit map uh, option. So you can find this down here in the bottom right hand corner and what this is going to do is just zoom out the mind manager canvas to show everything that you've got open at the moment in one screen. So if I click that button you'll see it just zooms out far enough to fit everything in the screen. So again if I zoom in on the map, just to show you the shortcut, Control F5, which again, a little bit quicker than going down to that menu item. So Control F5 will achieve the same thing and fit that Mind Manager map into the screen. So that's it for now, a quick tutorial on navigating your Mind Manager maps. Thanks for watching, and for more resources to help you go further with Mind Manager, visit biggerplate.com.